I've come to you, to be honest, about a very delicate issue. What was your issue? Someone who did bad things to me when I was younger. Someone who you may know of. Who abused me, sexually abused me when I was younger, when I was a child. And I'm looking for your advice, to be honest, what to do. I think it's someone you might have dealt with in the past. Mm. I think it's someone you might have dealt with in the past. I imagine I know whom we are talking. And uh, if I'm correct, we are dealing with this. So how, 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 how is it being dealt with? Are you, are you involved in it with him? Mm. Are you involved in it in dealing with it? Uh, I was involved, but uh, <laughs> to be. Would you think maybe is it, is, it, is it a good idea to speak to the police about it? <laughs> no? Why? It's a but this is a very serious issue. Yes, but not the police. Not the police. So when Rabbi Padua is asked here about going to the police, he says no, because it's Mazira. And this concept of Mazira means it's forbidden to report a fellow Jew to the non-Jewish authorities. And here Rabbi Padua is saying that applies even when you're talking about allegations of child sex abuse. Even, even if you think it may be happening to other people? Not the police. And um, how, 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 I mean, how can you reassure yourself that this man is not doing it to others? Look, the police also can't, can't assure. The uh, police uh, is not a soldier. Under no circumstances. Now I've got a question, if, if, if the police found out about it and they called me in, what would you, what would you say to me? Colin, you should do anything that can lead to the police. But if, if someone else went to the police on him and I was called, what, what do I do then? Sorry? Let's hope it would not. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm going to see if you can get into the week.